Hi, my name is Patrick and I am the creator of the add-on called Urbaniac Wheeling Generator. In this short video, I will show you how to install and use the add-on. First, we need to install it. We are going to go to Edit, Preference, Add-ons, and we will hit install you will need to search for the two files that you downloaded i will find it in my folders uh, the first is the urbaniac launcher in this case uh, is a uh, 01 but it will be updated to 02 03 or 04 and you select the, the one that you installed and we hit install Then we will need to toggle this on and we need to select the master liberate path. We are hit here and we are going to select the second uh, folder that you need to extract first and inside model folder. We hit twice models and we hit accept. We save the preference and in the right tab we are going to see urbaniac add-on if you don't see this these windows you can toggle it on and off with a key n we are going to add our first wheeling so we can search in the category with hand wheelings and we can uh, click on the image and select the the one that we want I will select, select for this one. If you want to uh, append the, the building in the center of the scene, you can use uh, at origin. Or if you want to add to the cursor, you can click uh, at cursor. And it will be appended to the, to the 3 the cursor. All right. Now we can move uh, the building and it's ready to use if we hit render we can see the buildings with all of the details and if we add in the click to config scene you can change uh, some values like a building lights we can see all the interiors of the building you can change the quantity of, of interior light by modifying this value you also can add uh, animated raindrops over the surface you can add uh, water over the surface and you can add snow okay now you want to change the look of the wheel so uh, you click on it and enter on edit mode and you will have a, a basic shape you will need to select some faces and move it move them on the on three meters uh, models so to make this easier i will activate the snap and i will change the scale to three now every time i extrude i will do it in three by three meters Models. I will go out of the edit mode with the uh, tab key and the buildings will change their shape automatically. In most of the cases, you can modify in the vertex group different models. In this case, 
uh, we have two modules so I will enter on edit mode I will select these faces I will change this to the model B and they change the look of them some of the buildings have some parameters to, to change like this one we can modify the quantity of windows that are open modifying this value you can make all windows uh, open or randomly make them more or less other window other buildings have uh, air conditioner units that you can change in the same way selecting the building and changing the facade details uh, value you can add or remove some air conditioners all our buildings have uh, 3D interiors and in the case of the air conditioner units some of them uh, have uh, animated uh, fans you can change the entire interior lines of the building from one single place all the buildings in your scene will be affected at once also you can change some parameters like the bricks in this case Wilhelm 01 brick closet you can change the color of them you can change the mortar color if it's darker or lighter and some parameter like the water in and, and the earth well this is the video i hope that this helped to understand how this works